Yo, what is up guys? Trevor Ross Kavinsky here and on today's video. First off, I hope your morning was good. I hope you hit foam runners. I hope you hit 11s. I took an L on foam runners. But as you can see, or not as you can see, I'm going to the mall right now to pick up some pairs. So we're going to do a pickup vlog. I haven't done one of these for a while. Well, actually, I'm on Manero's not a while ago. But we're going to go to Finish Line and JD Sports. We're going to go out to Greenwood and Downtown Mall. So we're going to get those taken care of. We're going to have to Greenwood real quick because uh, the Downtown Mall is just right down, down the street from me. But I will be rocking the neutral grays today. And now these are beat. I'm feeling like a white girl with her, under, or <laughs> with her Air Forces right now because they're so dirty. I've not been taking care of them. All beat up. But before we get too far in the video, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here from tomorrow or from today's live stream welcome in we do these we do go and pick up vlog but we're gonna go to get this done get them shipped out because i already have all my pre-orders filled um shout out to you guys shout out to you that did buy them i can't remember the instagram username but thank you uh let's go grab these and get these shipped out hi right, guys we're at our first location there's the dick sporting goods now i'm not picking up from dick sporting goods i'm actually going to jd sports we're at the greenwood park mall i just thought i might put that in there because you know if you're local and you know where i'm at pretty nice mall i was gonna record as i was walking in but dude it is so windy out i know there's been like some severe weather going on i just watched a lady walk and she was like walking sideways. I can't lie. She literally was like walking all over the place. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna record walking down how much of the transaction I'm gonna be able to get simply because I'm on my own. But let's go grab these shoes and move on to the next. Because people won't believe me how long the line was. All right, guys, we finally got them here in the JD bag. As you can see, dude, it took an hour and a half or hour and 10 minutes, I mean, just to get this pair of sneakers. I had exclusive access. And then I'm sitting there waiting in the first come first serve line. They didn't say that. And they said, here, merge lines. And so they merge. So I, he's like, you're supposed to go around the corner. We go around the corner. It's the same line as the first come first serve. So we had to merge with the first come first servers and they all got mad. They argued a little bit like, oh, you're not cutting me in line, this and that. And the workers like, chill out, chill out. Thankfully, no fights happened at least. And then when I left, the line was probably like double or triple the size. It was ridiculous. Oh man, I'm just glad to be out there. Now I gotta go to the second spot. If I gotta deal with that again, it's gonna be terrible. On to the second location, guys. At Circle Center Mall, <clears throat> downtown, if you don't know, it's kind of trash. The excavators don't even work going up, so I have to walk up the excavators. But time to see if there's a big line for these. Well, here we go again. Looks like just about as long as line as the last one. It's not as big, because this, this mall is a little bit more low key, but that's what we got going on right now. I'm gonna see if they have a different line for exclusive access. All right, guys, last pair secured right here. It only took like probably 15 minutes, but it did, man, an extra hour and a half trying to get this done. Now I got to rush to UPS. I think they close at two or three and it's already one o'clock. So I'm kind of rushing. So I need to get my shipping information boxed up and sent out. That's the only reason why I was really in a hurry. It's Saturday, so I'm chilling. I'm not really in that big of a rush. But if UPS closes, I got to get my pre-order clients taken care of. So we're going to head there now and make sure, or hopefully we're going to make it before it closes. If not, I'm going to be pretty upset, which will throw me off a little bit on Saturday. But all, all pairs secured. We have two more coming in. We hit Champs, which is FLX for the first time in so long. And then um, what else? We also hit JD Sports coming in again with the exclusive access. Now I know earlier in the video, I said excavators when I was going up an escalator. So don't roast me too hard on that. So if you made it to this point in the video, just know I realized I messed up there. So I'll see you guys back at home. All right, we made it back home, guys. As you see, we got them boxed up. Sorry, it's a mess. I got stuff scattered everywhere, but it's all set up. We're ready to go. We're gonna go get these labels printed and sent out. And then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna kind of talk about the market and why you guys need to hold off. Or if you're selling now, sell today, but just know a big dip is on the way. So we're gonna talk about that when we get back home. All right, guys, so we are done. We got everything shipped out. It's been one heck of a morning. Foam runners took an L on, confirmed didn't make it happen for me, but we got our cool grace. And as you can see in the lines from my footage from earlier, there are so many people wanting these shoes now that's where i'm going to go into my next subject you guys are worried i had so many people i had like 160 170 people watch me this morning and some people were asking me should i even go for these are these gonna brick are these gonna be brick shoes and every time they say that i'm like guys these are not gonna brick this is a cool gray 11 if you couldn't tell by my footage there's obviously demand i waited an hour and 10 minutes and i even had exclusive access but they were doing first come first serve at the same time and that's what was going on i had multiple people message me and say yeah they had to wait too that's because there's so much demand on this shoe, it's insane. So for those of you that it passed, I'm sorry, but you took an L. There's no reason to pass on these. They're still sitting in the $300 range, even on drop day. If you have them right now, this is what I'm gonna say. If you have them now, sell them for the high. Sell them for like 340, 350, get the hype out of them because people are wanting them. A lot of people got turned down at my place. They were looking for GS, GS. I don't know how GS is performing. If you want me to be honest with you, I'm not really sure how GS is performing, but they are getting turned down. 
They're trying first come first serve. I know they only had like they had very little small size or big sizes left. So if you have a big size, you have a money size, you're gonna make that money just just as 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 always. So just know that when it comes to this sneaker, I don't think you guys should be panicking. Don't undercut. Don't be a Timmy. StockX knows what they're doing. Okay, they did 50% off seller fees. There's no reason to go ahead and sell yours right now because that the price is gonna go down. Don't be a Timmy. Sell local. Get your local clientele built up on these because they're gonna move. Just throw them on Facebook Marketplace. Now be careful. Be careful. I'm not saying if you're nervous to do that don't do that but be careful check the person's profile meet in a public place but if you're selling these man you're gonna be okay now i know today people were getting nuts people were getting arguments all this stuff at the at the malls and i saw it i've had people hit me up like yo it was crazy people are fighting getting jumped with these shoes so be careful that's all i gotta say um but it was a great release it was a fun day i appreciate all your support if you're new here welcome in we do these vlogs typically on the weekends when we have big drops like this this is probably the hypest drop left of 20 well it actually is today was the biggest day left of 2021 so enjoy it this hype won't be back for a little bit but man was it a good time i do appreciate you guys if you're still to this point of the video i hope you enjoyed the vlog we walked around we went around we went to ups well i didn't bring you guys with me to ups because i was in a hurry i parked in a no park zone i do that all the time i'm always nervous I'm gonna get a ticket or towed it's not a good idea don't do it don't be like me but i you know in and out real quick um so we did that we got our jubilee shipped out which were pre-orders i got two more pairs coming in which gets my total to about six pairs i sold uh, nine and a half for 320, uh, 10 and a half and 12 for 285. I sold them early. I probably should have held on to them. I could have made more, but my eight and 12 or eight and nine and a half I have coming in. They're going for 350 each local, uh, signed up with my local buyers. So it's okay. I made good profit off this drop. I could have made more. I probably should have went harder for these shoes. I thought I was going to win a few more raffles, but it is what it is. I'll take six pairs total. Six pairs is better than none because I got zero foam runners today. Uh, I kind of expected it. Not really expected. I just knew it was going to be a hard drop. I know how every foam runner release goes. It was tough. The website messed up here and there. I got some carded. <clears throat> and I never got through Q on manual, but with uh, within Bellox, I got some carded. Uh, but I could never get a check out. Error submitting shipping, this and that. But it is what it is, guys. I appreciate you guys once again. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. All my social medias are down below. If you need to contact me directly, here's my Instagram. Get it, get it going. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers or 2,000 followers. If you want to join Kick Notify, this is where we help a lot of people out. I know I, I know there was a few people that were botting for the first time that hit. We helped them out within the group. So we can do that for you too if you need help. So I'm out of here. Peace.